Let me show you how to install Windows on any MacBook, such as MacBook Pro, Air, and also regular Mac, basically. So this will work on any Intel-based CPU. So if you have the latest uh, Apple Silicon, this process won't work and you'll need to do in a different way. But in this video, I'll show you how to do that if you have Intel-based CPU. So I have the uh, 2019 uh, MacBook Pro here. And uh, if you have an older Mac, you will also need at least 16 gig of storage like flash drive but on the 2019 uh, 2018 and i think 2017 you do not need a flash drive even but if you have older version of macbook it might ask you for a blank flash drive at least 16 gigs First, we are going to need to download the Windows image. So I will use Windows 10 as I think that's the best Windows series. And especially it's better if you have older uh, like MacBook, which is not as powerful as the Windows 10 isn't as resource intensive. Basically, so I will leave a link in the description where you can download this, but this is, you can simply search. Uh, select your edition as Windows 10 Mold Edition, click Confirm. It will validate your request, uh, select your language, click confirm, and then select the 64-bit download, and the download will start basically. Okay, once it finishes downloading, by the way, it's around 6 gigs in size. We need to go and open the bootcamp, so I'm just going to simply go to the uh, search tool and simply enter bootcamp. And you'll see this will pop up, you'll need to select this bootcamp assistant. OK, and then launch it, click Next, Continue. Next, you simply need to drag the slider and select uh, how much space we are going to use for this Windows installation. So I'll set it up to use half for the Windows, so I have half left for the old Mac. And click Install. OK, and this will take some while. Also, it's recommended that you actually connect your MacBook to a power source before you continue. And then this process will take quite a while, so simply leave it aside and let it finish. And it started partitioning the disk, and it's very important that you do not power off or lose power on the MacBook at this time. Okay, this process took maybe 5 minutes. Then we'll try to restart. Okay, so it started booting up, and as you see, automatically the Windows logo appears. We are going to get the setup screen here. Next, select your language and click Next. And then you need to enter your product key. If you do not have, you can also click the I do not have a product key and the Windows will still work. So let's select our version. I like the Pro one. By the way, you can enter the product key at the later stage or you actually do not need one uh, and only maybe Windows watermark will appear, but it will still work. And then simply we need to wait till installation process finishes as usual. Ok, nearly ready and this whole process took me around 15 minutes only. And we are nearly done, select your region again, Ok, select your keyboard. Select your network or click I do not have internet. Add your username, click next. Password if you want to or leave it blank. I'm going to decline everything. I do not want any of the junk. And some final touches. And we are done. All this process was extremely fast and easy. By the way, the first time you will launch this, it will ask you to install the bootcamp installer on the Windows. So make sure to install it, as that will install all the drivers for this thing to work perfectly. And as you see, everything works perfectly. Even if you have the touch bar, that also will work perfectly fine. So everything works great. By the way, if you want to boot back into the Mac, simply when you turn on your computer, press this option button and keep it holding for like 5 seconds basically. So keep holding that as you turn it on. And you'll get a choice to select either the Mac or Windows. So you can select the Mac and it will boot up the Mac as usual. And as you see, the Mac still works perfectly, and the Windows side also works perfectly fine without any problems whatsoever. So personally, I really like the Apple hardware, but I do not like the Mac OS, so really I often simply install the Windows on these MacBooks basically, so that really gives the best of the both worlds. And actually it's kind of funny that installing Windows on a MacBook is easier and faster than installing it on PC. Absolutely awesome. Good luck everyone.